Hi everybody. I wanted to make a, uh, a quick video um, about the uh, the slight difficulty that the PS3, a lot of people have been experiencing uh, since the March update um, in 2022 uh, for the PS3. Um, difficulty signing in was something I had for a long time. Um, I looked around on YouTube a lot and I found some awesome advice that uh, I'd just like to smooth out and make, uh, make a, a simpler, uh, easier to understand presentation for you um, or something that, that really works. Um, and hopefully my sound is better with this too. I recently improved some of the muffled sound. Uh, okay. Well, basically, um, aside from everything else, uh, after the update in March, um, uh, you wouldn't find yourself signed in where it says account management or with your gamer ID here, your, your, uh, user ID there, uh, you wouldn't see any of that. You basically wouldn't get signed in automatically. So all you would really see is, uh, you know, the dark blue uh, circle, uh, you know, with the, uh, the square, the, you know, the, uh, you know, the triangle and uh, the X, that's the start button. So basically you would hit that. And if you experience trouble signing in after that, uh, that's what most people were commonly experiencing after the update is you would hit start and your username would still be there, but underneath you would have an empty password field and the usual, you know, most people would try it to put their password back in and then underneath would be sign in and then remember me and sign in automatically. And then, you know, you click those two check check boxes uh, to do it repeatedly was something uh, I think is natural to do. Uh, but on the other hand, it something changed with this update. It didn't want your usual password. It wanted a computer generated password, which you have to go to the um, uh, PlayStation.com uh, website and sign into to get. And once you get that code, you come back and you manually copy it to your PS3 um, in the password field in the startup menu. Um, and then click, you know, the check boxes and then click sign in. Um, basically, that's what you have to do. Um, the confusion is, is that uh, um, it's actually kind of hard to explain, but... Um, you know, I knew my passwords and, and sign in names so well uh, when it was happening to me. Uh, my username was, of course, still there in the startup screen, which probably sounds familiar if you're having, having this problem. Underneath, uh, I knew my password so well, it made no sense that it wouldn't do anything but direct me to the, uh, uh, the, the QR sign in screen, uh, which is on the front of my. Uh, uh, you know, a thumbnail tab, it shows that sign on screen, which tells you to go to PlayStation Network or PlayStation.com uh, or just, you know, take a picture of your, your screen to get there uh, with your QR reader on your phone. Um, the weird, weird part is, is it the update made your made the system forget everything except the password actually made it so that it won't accept anything except the computer generated password yet it'll still display your uh, your email address or your user ID and still that's valid so here's what you do for the empty password field before you hit sign in and before you try it again and again um, I'll just take you over to my computer and show you um, yeah this is uh, this is a quick shot here considering, uh, so like what I was saying, like you need the computer generated code because, you know, if I, if I made that understandable enough, um, I, I can't experience that trouble with the sign on screen, uh, that I was describing because mine automatically signs in now. And apparently if you just go through the process again and get your, uh, computer generated password from, here, 
with a few other steps that are very interesting. If you follow, if you follow me all the way through with this, there's a few other settings you want to make sure are in place on uh, PlayStation.com, uh, and you should have no no troubles after that. Um, you know, I had plenty of frustration with this. Anyway, so you, you go up here and you just click sign in here with my, where the pointer is. And um, I'll just do this step by step because that's what it's meant to be. Um, I was very relieved when this finally worked for me because I tried everything first uh, and it didn't. Uh... Okay, so here we are um, at PlayStation Network. Um, which is basically uh, PlayStation.com. Um, uh, basically, you start by hitting Sign In. And um, it's going to ask me for a few extra steps because I've been here recently. Sign In ID, email address, uh, trouble signing in, where you can um, set a resend link to your email address, that kind of thing, to get your PS3 up and running properly and, and I'll, I'll get there in just a second. So here you are signed in to PlayStation.com. Uh, here's my um, avatar up here, this uh, skull with lightning eyes. You start the whole thing by clicking on your avatar, okay? Uh, and then you go to account settings here, click that, and um, you're going to want to go right over to uh, Security. Um, and these steps do work, by the way. Uh, it does work. Um, you go to security here and you click that and you say continue to verify. Um, if you try this, and by the time you get the code and you get it in your system, if you restart your system a couple of times, you know, to actually turn it off and back on again. In a matter of time, it should be no time at all, it'll be actually turning on and automatically signing you into PSN on your on your PS3, and it'll be a real relief when you see it. But let me just go over this with you here. So you're in security. And, um, okay, so you know, you can change your passwords, you can uh, edit your uh, SMS, uh, you know, uh, phone number, uh, mobile number. And this is where it gets a little more important. Um, Two-step verification. Um, here where it says uh, active, um, uh, I had learned, I had been, I had observed from other videos that I watched, uh, you need to have this active for the next few steps to actually work, to get the code, in other words, and to have it work in your PS3. Um, in other words, uh, you, believe me, if it doesn't say active, you're going to want to hit edit here and, uh, and, and fix that and make sure it says active. Okay. Um, the very next step you, you want to do in that order, uh, not to bother with backup codes, that's something else entirely. Um, it, just where it says uh, device setup uh, password uh, here, it it doesn't look like a link, but it actually is. If you if you click this uh, device setup password, okay, you click it, um, and you come up with this here: um, generate or manage device setup passwords. This is great. Uh, these are all unused passwords that I've generated uh, that don't mean anything. But you want to go down here to generate new password and click it. You're going to see an alphanumeric alphanumeric um, case sensitive uh, you know uh, password like this uh, it's got letters of the alphabet and the uh, numbers uh, you know numbers just all mixed up and it is case sensitive so if you enter enter it correctly from here not it's not going to be this particular one this is just one that I've literally generated and uh, I don't, I don't need that. And neither do you. Not that particular one. But if you follow these steps all the way through security to get here, um, you'll see something like this. And you could leave it up on your screen while you're doing it, and basically just go over to your PS3 and type it in the, 
the empty password field of your startup screen. Uh, if your username is not already in there, you can put it in. Um, and when you're done, you're going to want to check the two boxes that say, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, remember me and automatically sign me in. But just before you hit the, the sign in button, just before you do that, you want to make double, you know, just double check, make sure you have the right uh, password entered in there. Um, and when you do, you're going to want to click done here. You click done here. And it tells the system, this is important. It tells the system that you're basically done with that password and you're, it's not going to be used again anywhere else or whatever else. And then it would be time for you to realize that you just, you know, you just manually transferred that information over to your, uh, to your PS3 and it's, it's ready for you to hit sign in. So you would go ahead and do that. Uh, in the meantime, you're, you're just over here now. So you can just click sign out of, uh, PlayStation.com, um, and you're going to have a very interesting time and a lot of a lot of expectations that this is going to work for you. That when you see that dark blue circle and you're entering this information, your password, whatever, this computer generated password that you're entering is something they truly want you to enter. And uh, I was. I was absolutely perplexed when I found out they, you know, my stored password that I had it in there before, the one that I remembered was, was leading me in a circle. It just kept leading me back to uh, whatever I entered, it was wrong. So I can tell you the right way to do it. Um, more than happy to share that with you. Uh, you know, PlayStation.com uh, will get you there. It'll give you the code. And uh, you can repeat the process if you feel you've made an error or something in entering it. And just be aware you're going to be entering it in that start menu sign-in screen. Uh, I keep pointing here because this is, this is something you won't see if you're not signed in. You won't see account management. You won't see your, your avatar. And, and that's why I'm pointing at these things. But this is roughly the same place you would see your uh, startup screen uh, that kind of asks you to sign in. So now you know exactly how you got to go about getting the correct user generated password and even how to try it again if you need to. Uh, but I guarantee you the one thing will be the same is that your user ID in that startup screen will always be as it was before. If you have to enter it as it was before, you're doing the right thing. But most of us uh, didn't know. It's a mystery. You know, how do you? You know what? What? Why won't accept? Why won't it accept the password? It's uh, it was just a mess up from uh, you know the the recent update in March of 2022. So uh, good luck everybody, and I hope this helps an awful lot. And uh, I hope the sounds a little bit better on this video. I did get a microphone for myself. I needed one. Uh, so uh, well, anyway, uh, happy gaming everybody, and uh, good luck. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.